We'll bring her on down. And we're going to land her this way. Uh, center her up a bit. There we go. Okay, okay. Bring her all the way down. Welcome to my golden games and welcome back to Star Citizen. For this one, we are taking out our Crusader Mercury Star Runner and we're going to be running some basic packages. Hey, I felt like loading up my military Jeep in the back here and uh, yeah, we're just going to take our Crusader Mercury Star Runner, which is completely unnecessary for these beginner missions. Literally, we're gonna pay 3,000 bucks to run one package. We're pretty much an Amazon delivery driver right now, except we're driving the biggest vehicle for one package. You know, it sounds about right, actually, now that I say that. Anyways, uh, yeah, so let's get over here to the cockpit. As you can see, th this is a really large ship for doing these kind of missions. Now, if we were running like maybe 100 packages, you know, this would be fine. But uh, we're literally going to pick up one package for a hundred or uh, for three thousand bucks. So it's a little overkill, but you know what? This ship is freaking sexy. Look at this thing. Oh, look at that beautiful. Let's take off here. Landing gear up, and let's go first person here. We are going to Calatrope or something like that. Uh, it's on another planet, so we're going to need to get into space, leave the atmosphere, hopefully not crash into the space station. That would not be good if we crashed into the space station. Yeah, look at how freaking beautiful this game is. Seriously, this game is massive. If you've never played this game, it's as big as it looks. Even It's even bigger than it looks, to be honest. Like, it's insane. There's new Babbage behind us. My home world, for now, anyways. Uh, home, home base of operations anyways and yeah this is a freaking crazy game either way i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you do hit the like button seriously does seriously does help me out when you do that seriously does help me out when you do that uh again with this ship too it is slow leaving atmosphere so i will see you guys once we actually get closer to the pickup location because yeah this is going to take a hot minute to leave the atmosphere then again, I mean, let's let's just admire the beauty of this game, though. The water running on the windshield, the sunrise coming up over the hilltops there, and yes, uh, the clouds. The freaking clouds in this game are insane looking. It might be a little hard to tell now because it is so dark, but uh, yeah, when you're entering a planet and you see the entire planet just covered in big floofy clouds, it's crazy how good the clouds actually look in this game. Um, are we moving? No, we weren't moving. Okay, I'll see you guys once we get closer to this location because it's gonna be a hot minute before we get there in this big boat. Ah, uh, we're not quite there yet. We haven't even left the atmosphere, but I just figured I had to show you guys this. Look how beautiful that sun is over there. And this is what I was talking about with the volumetric clouds. Again, there's not a lot of them right now because, I mean, we're on Microtech. It's a snow planet, so there's not too many clouds on this planet. But some planets, the entire thing is just covered in clouds. But you can see the beauty of this game, just the colors too. Just like the merging of the blue and the orange and the red, like it's crazy looking. Okay guys, again, I'll see you once Everything we get a little Everything sci-fi, it, it, it's just a beautiful freaking game. Just all the lights and colors and everything, it's freaking awesome. All right, we need to go somewhere over there. Um, let's slow it down a bit. Let's see on the map. We need to go here to Kelio and... Oh. So we have routed for this facility. It is a mining facility. And now we just need to jump to it, which is nice. It'll let us go right up to it and we'll be able to land pick up the package who is locking onto us we're jumping out somebody was locking on with a missile what the fuck? what douchebags okay then well, let's get around here we are long gone but somebody was locked onto us with missiles i mean we could have took them i think as long as there's not too many of them 
this thing can't hold its own. Uh, again, we only are by ourselves right now. We're running solo, but we do have two gunner's spots available on this ship. Okay, so let's turn off our quantum drive. Uh, lately in the game, it's been a little bit buggy with the uh, quantum drive sound. It like gets stuck on. Uh, right there, we fixed it though. Let's go in third person here. Uh, we are running our St. Patrick's Day special paint job that when we bought this ship last year, 2021, St. Patrick's Day. Uh, this is the paint job that was came with the ship. Alright, so we are about 9,000 meters from the drop-off, or I should say the pickup. Uh, we'll get a little bit closer before we slow our speed down. Because uh, as we're entering the atmosphere, we are getting slower and slower, as you can see there. The ship is slowing down, even though we are full throttle. We could boost it, give us some more speed. That definitely brings us in quick. Now we're going to slow down. I'm going to drop the landing gear. There is the mining facility. Let's bring her on in. And we can land on the landing pad. I don't believe we need to radio them. Oh, it's over there. All right, that's fine. It is a little windy on the planet's surface, as you can see. So let's do this. We'll bring her on down. And we're going to land her this way. Let's uh, center her up a bit. There we go. Okay, okay. Bring her all the way down. Level her out. Yikes. Okay, are we are we good? We're, we're leveled. Okay. Hopefully we don't get shot at by another pirate or something. Yikes. A little scary. Man, that storm is pretty bad out there. Our armor is definitely able to hold up to it for a little while anyways. But uh, we don't want to be out there for too long. Uh, the one thing with the vehicle that we have in our cargo bay here, it doesn't actually have a cockpit, so it's all open to the atmosphere. Which, uh, your suit actually does plug into it for like an oxygen supply, but you are exposed to the elements, so you do get cold or hot over time, depending on, you know, the planet's temperature. Oh boy. Um. Okay, why are we teetering? I thought we were leveled out. Okay. It's fine. We should have been we should have been seated there, but oh well. Negative eighty seven degrees Celsius, not too bad. Barely an inconvenience. It's fine. Let's get inside here. Uh, we need to open that. Cycle the airlock. Depressurize and here we go. Hello bud, it's a little uh little freaking cold out there. What can I do for you? Oh not too much, I'm just picking up a package. Make a delivery, uh, making a pickup. I think you're confused. No, no, bud. I'm just this, this right here. Okay, I'm just gonna grab it. Yeah, this package. That's right, bud. Okay. So let's open that. So basically, this is the first level of missions for the package deliveries. So, like I said, we are making only three thousand dollars on this run. But eventually, we'll be able to make more money and deliver more packages. Uh, all right, we'll just drop this thing right there. No big deal. Barely an inconvenience. Let's close that. Get the cargo bay all nice and warm again. And get inside the server room, which keeps the ship warm, obviously. It's a server room. <laughs> Bad joke? Okay. Nobody saw nothing there. And let's get through these hallways here. Come on now. Alright, you know what would be cool? If there's like a gunner seat like here. But the gunner seats are actually back here if you guys didn't know. Let me, let me show you that. It is in the server room for some reason. 
Yeah, so we've got an upper and a lower turret, and it tells you this is turret down, so this is underneath, and this one goes up. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice setup. It's not too bad. Oh, you know what? That's why it's the server room. It's nice and cold. Gotcha. Okay. All right, let's take off and landing gear up. And let's see, where do we need to go? Microtech, Kilio, all right, and where are we dropping off? Drop off package over there. All right, so it looks like we're dropping off on Port Tressler, okay? Let me set a waypoint to Port Tressler then. Attack. Zoom in. Um, it looks like it's actually down in New Babbage. Not Port Wrestler. Okay. So, where can we jump to? All right, boys, we just had to get a little bit further from the planet. We had to go to a comms array. But now we are able to line up with Microtech, and now we can fly over there. Uh, it was a little bit tricky because there were no OM points for some reason. We just found one comms array that we we're able to travel to. All right, now then, now where do we need to go? There's Microtech. Are we going to Port Trussler? No, we're going to New Babbage. Okay. And it'll let us route to it. That is beautiful. And jumping. Here we go. Such a freaking beautiful game. Oh, and then with this ship, the Mercury Star Runner, uh, I do have a custom name on it. If we can see it, it's Edge of Time, is what I named it. Not really sure why I went with that. It's kind of a cool name, though. Let me know what you guys think in the uh, comments below. Um, Alright, so we need to go... Somewhere in the city, it looks like. We're not going to the spaceport, so this is where we're doing a home delivery, boys. Uh, we were we were at the you know delivery location. Now we now we get it. <laughs> Just go and, you know drop the package off at the house. No big deal. Barely an inconvenience. Um, yeah, these are a little bit slower to do. Definitely a lot safer than actual bounty hunting missions. Which in the last episode, you know this the last bounty we worked on, uh, we kind of smacked right into them and blew up. So no big deal. Barely an inconvenience. But as you can see, the beauty of this game, we are flying into New Babbage. And uh, yeah, we're going to be flying through the city, landing on a building top to deliver this package. You know, we got a white glove. Freaking beautiful. There's the uh, hotel right there in the middle, that big, large tower, the white one. And uh, yes, that's where we spawn in this city. Alright, so it looks like it's going to be that building right there we're going to be landing on. So freaking awesome, though. Seriously, I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. If you do, please hit the like button. Seriously, it does help me out when you do that. Um, let's get our landing gear down. And let's slow her down. Alright, we can speed it up a little bit. Alright, where are we landing? Are we landing on the actual rooftop there? Like, is that a landing pad? I'm going to assume it is. Alright, let's, uh... Re-angle this. And let's set her down gently. Alright, we have landed. 
Beautifully done. Now all we gotta do is take the package to the customer. There we go. There we go. And back through the cold server room. Into the cargo bay. Where the package is waiting. So grab you right there. Get that opened up. Mm. This truck is freaking awesome. Whoa, 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 a little windy. Don't want to lose the grip on the package here. And it go flying off the building top. Freaking snow up on top of this building. Um, drop off. There we go. Place the package inside. Go. Processing request. Transaction complete. Let's go. We just got paid three thousand dollars to deliver in a Mercury Star Runner. Yeah. Let's get back over this. Oh my goodness! Look how freaking beautiful. That All is. right, guys. So I'm gonna leave this episode here. I know we only did one package run in the Mercury Star Runner, but I hope you enjoyed this one nonetheless. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like button. Maybe consider subscribing if you have yet to do that, as well as joining our Discord server linked in the description below. You guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys. Peace.